Silas McClellan was born on March 17, 1897 in Knoll, Nova Scotia, and was known as the Silent Farmer from Hans County. After serving in the First World War, Silas returned home and was encouraged to begin running by his neighbor and former Olympian, Victor McCauley. Silas quickly showed promise during the 1923 Halifax Herald Modified Marathon, placing third. The following year saw Silas finish second behind McCauley. Silas traveled to Boston in 1925 and finished 11th in the Boston Marathon. Here they come, 184 of them. It's the start of the Boston Marathon, 26 miles and 385 yards. In 1928, Silas finished 10th overall at the Boston Marathon, which was tops amongst all Canadians. His strong finish earned him a spot on the 1928 Canadian Olympic team headed for Amsterdam. At the Amsterdam Olympics, Silas finished 26th overall with a time of 2 hours, 49 minutes and 33 seconds, roughly 17 minutes off the pace of the Olympic champion from Algeria, but ahead of Mr. Marathon, Clarence DeMar from the United States, who has seven Boston Marathon titles to his name. Silas was third amongst all Canadian runners behind only Clifford Bricker and well-known Johnny Miles of New Glasgow, Nova Scotia. According to Silas, his most memorable moment of the Olympics was sharing an accommodation tent with 19-year-old running superstar Percy Williams, who would win gold in both the 100 and 200 meter events. Upon returning home, Silas continued to run competitively and won the Halifax Herald full marathon title in 1930 and 1931. It was also in 1930 that Silas had a career best ninth overall finish in the Boston Marathon. He was also a member of the Canadian Marathon team that competed in the 1930 British Empire Games, where he would play sixth overall. According to J.E.G. Ahern, sports editor for the Halifax Herald at that time, Silas likely would have been a Canadian marathon champion had he started running at an earlier age, as most of his rivals were younger than him. Ahern was also quoted as saying, We remember Silas's great running of the Herald Marathon from Dartmouth to Halifax when he led a strong field. It wasn't until years later we learned that in order to reach Halifax from Knoll, he walked 11 miles to a rail station in Kennecook and entered the big run without a complaint. Silas was a wonderful man on and off the race course. We found him a real gentleman when taking parts in runs we promoted for this newspaper. Never heard him grumble. According to Colin D. Howell of St. Mary's University, McClellan was part of a Nova Scotian Corps of runners who began to have excellent results at the Boston Marathon, which spiked local interest in the event. This group included well-known Johnny Miles, Victor McCauley, Billy Taylor, and of course, Silas. Silas last competed in a marathon at age 48 and died February 10, 1974. Silas McClellan is an original member of the Nova Scotia Sport Hall of Fame. <laughs> 2014 East Hans Sport Hall of Fame inductee, Silas McClellan. <laughs>